what's going on guys this is Jeff here in Spokane Washington getting ready to do some herping here at a local park um, basically a little bit of a hiking trail I'm gonna see if I can find a bull snake a racer a garter snake whatever it's about 65 degrees um, you know we're in the middle of May and I'm gonna see if I can uh, find something to show y'all 65 degrees means the snakes are trying to warm up this is a place that I've found some big snakes found a couple five six foot bull snakes and uh, following the little Spokane River uh, hopefully we can find something a little bit about me I love reptiles I have worked with reptiles a lot I am absolutely fascinated with reptiles and this channel is specifically for one thing and that is educating people and teaching them to respect the reptiles and to essentially be able to like look at them and not be afraid and to just respect them so I'm hoping that I can find something for y'all alrighty stay tuned and just so y'all can see this is a really, really cool spot. Literally perfect. Already found a turkey feather. I typically see bull snakes like sitting on this trail, trying to get the little bit of sunlight that's left. Look at this. It's just mind blowing. Now I just found the first herp. Flip this log. Really excited for this one. This is an Eastern Racer. It's one of my favorite snakes. Now, what's nice about Eastern Racers is they are harmless. Literally most snakes are harmless, come on. Now what's really cool about Racers is one really neat thing. Look at that color. God, they're so pretty. And what's really crazy is they don't need design. They don't have any patterning. But they do have a really cool contrast. And they blend in so good in these fields, right? Oh, God, that's such a pretty snake. So basically, what's really cool about racers is they are fast as hell, right? You got racers all over the country. This is an eastern racer, but they all have one thing in common. They're fast. Oh, my gosh, but look at that. How cool is that? Such a beautiful snake. Probably eating frogs, baby mice, you know, whatever it can find. But they are literally the most inquisitive of snakes, in my opinion, that we have here, other than bull snakes. They literally will watch you. Look at that. See how it moves its head? It's almost prehistoric. Literally gorgeous. They got blues and greens and grays and everything. And the contrast in the sunlight is incredible. Really cool thing about racers is just the way they look, the way they act, and everything. So let me tell you also a little bit about racers. They get, I mean, I've seen them three and a half, four feet long. They don't get massive. Well, let's see if it can focus here. Ah having a hard time focus come on camera okay maybe it'll focus down here as you see here see how quick it moves literally the chances of me catching a snake like this were so slim if i would have seen it not underneath a log it was literally trying to hide from me it was trying to hide it was afraid it let me pick it up, but notice one thing about it. It hasn't bit me. It hasn't even tried to bite me. All it wants to do is it's saying, Jeff, can you please let me go? He just wants to get on his way. Anyways, number one thing for me is I'm big on releasing them where I found them. Racers are just another snake that I am incredibly passionate about. They're another snake that I 100% adore. And guess what? Even if it's a rattlesnake, bull snake, a garter snake, a racer, a rubber boa, a night snake, any snake, 
This is all it wants to do. Is get away from you. They have no need to hurt you. They don't want to hurt you. But at the end of the day, if you leave it be, it will leave you be.